to this lightweight tilt between Mark Jacasey and Bruce Lee. Let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, with authority, the body. Just misses with the straight left hand. That uppercut landed. We cross the midpoint in round one. Oh! Oh! He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh! Oh! Spinning back fist. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. Nice right in. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Nice hook lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whoa! So strong five minutes down. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two here. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Effective strike there by Jacasey. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The next with a right. Right hand upstairs. Oh! Oh! He didn't like that left hand. It's knee to the body.
trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, what a punch. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Jacases has got full mount now. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Third round underway. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. So he's really starting to put together. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, no! Oh, oh yes, now we're going. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Wow! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Lee gets up, but the question is for how long. He looks wobbly. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. jacasey has got the full mount. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like 
half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Unable to connect with the right. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Woo! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, let's get it.